Over the past few um, months, some of the ways I've, I've tasted and seen how good God is is through my Bible readings. I've been reading through the Old Testament um, in my Bible in a Year plan and um, also through small groups looking at uh, kings and um, everything there is to go with that. And despite the chaos and calamity and um, messiness that humanity brings into the world, God is continually faithful. Um, and he is sovereign over all of the sin um, as well. Um, and despite um, the Israelites' disobedience, God continually uses them um, for his purposes and um, his divine purposes. And this is a reminder to each one of us um, that even when our lives seem to be unraveling and seem to be um, falling apart and really messy, God is still not finished with us. He is still working all, all things out for those who love him. Um, and just as we kind of read through the Old Testament and we know the end of the story that Jesus and um, the salvation of the world does actually come through the Israelites. Um, but even when it appears to be just a thread and all hopes are hanging off this thread, it appears to be um, falling apart. Um, Jesus still does come. Um, and whenever our lives appear to be messy and hanging together on just one thread, um, God's promises still prevail. Um, the thing about promises is, um, in order to trust a promise, we have to trust who um, is making that promise. And if we're to trust someone who um, we don't really know or we have just met, it's harder to trust. Um, whereas if we trust someone who we know a bit better, a family member, a spouse, a good friend, um, we're maybe, just just maybe, able to trust him a little bit more. And when it comes to God, who we believe God to be will dictate whether we trust him and his promises. Um, we live in a world that um, continually attacks who God is and attacks his, his character. Um, and we have Satan um, as well who is continually telling us and allowing us to doubt um, who we believe God to be. Um, the, the devil is continually trying to um, twist and distort our understanding of who God is. But today I just want to leave us with um, one passage in Exodus which I've been reading through um, which just reminds us who God is. Where God is talking to Moses and reminding them just about his character and about who he really is. It says in Exodus chapter 34, it says the Lord, the Lord a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin.